I don't know what the release schedule is going to look like, but we have two very similar games coming up. Superb Very Ren versus ODMR Calamity. Zinch versus the Empire. But I remember them being good for very different reasons. So let's get into it, huh? Zinch trying out some of the new toys. Now, Zinch getting a pure melee cat, uh, melee lord does allow for some of the hero casters to finally get used. So it looks like we are just getting a Chaos Sorcerer of Zinch, blue and pink fire. And we have a Chaos Lord of Zinch with his anti-large and his uh, damage resistance auras. We have some Centigors of Zinch, the really nice armor-piercing units that were added in the, the last DLC. And I actually really like Centigors of Zinch in the game. They are strong, yes, and they are meta, yes, but that's not always a bad thing. I think they're a very fun unit to play as and against. They're super squishy, right? If you get them in a bad situation, they get completely massacred. And they're rather expensive at over a thousand gold. But if you play well with them, you get some good arm piercing light cav. I think that is a good way to do DLC units, as Luminarch of Hish gets a little bit of sniping done there. Frontline of blue and pink horrors that I'll shut up about now, how much I love the Centicorps. We also have Zongors. For the Empire, it's a frontline of great swords. The Templehof, Luminarch, Luminarch of Hish, ROR. Some Spearmen, Halberdiers in the back. We have three Huntsmen, the Silver Bullets for some magic damage, and Balthazar Gelt with Final Transmutation as his only spell. Chaos Sorcerer of Zinch staying in the background now that he took a little bit of damage from the Temple of Luminarch, going to wait for his barriers to come back. And meanwhile, there's a net of Anatok for the Chaos Lord. And the Blue Horrors are trying to make my computer crash with how many brilliant dots we can put on the screen. Luminarch is firing at the netted guy who's getting hit with Final Transmutation, but smokes a tree on the way over. The Chaos Lord of Zinch will be saved. Greatsword's not having a good time against the Zongor front line while getting harassed by Blue Horrors and charged by Centicors with uh, their armor piercing, so a tough time there. As the Luminarch fires again, and still the tree is overpowered. Blue Fire's gonna poke down Balthazar Gelt for a little bit. Rough start here for the Luminarch. And the Empire in general, their front line has taken a ravaging by the Zinchian forces. We have two Centicors that have not really joined the fight yet. Looks like they had their barriers diminished by something, so they must have taken some damage here and there. And the Luminarch's firing again. Hits another tree. Zinch put this forest here to mess with the forces of Sigmar. Zinch is getting through the front line, but at what cost? It has not been free. Their blue horrors have taken some damage here and there. Zongors are pretty low. And Centicors of Zinch get into the back line. Silver Bullets get harassed by these guys. Can the Halberdiers run up and peel for them? Huntsmen are actually going to stop in place and just shoot the Centicors. Maybe they can save the Silver Bullets. Maybe, possibly. It looks like one Centicor is pushed off as more, more Blue Horrors and Centicors get in. Illuminar tries to fire again. And it does hit this time, the Chaos Lord. His barriers mitigate some of it, but overall it is a good hit. I'm very concerned for the Empire right now as they are routing in mass. And it looks like mostly their backline is compromised. Blue Horrors and Centicors back here doing a lot of damage. The Huntsmen are trying to protect their own. Firing sideways across the formation. It is snowy, so you can't really see the arrows. But now you can see a couple of them whisking here and there. We still have some Blue Horrors in the back of the ammo. It's the Sour Guts, actually. That's a pink horror, my bad. There we go. There's the Chromatic Abominations. We have some ammo left for Zinch. Blue Horrors and Pink Fire trying to kill off these Huntsmen in the Empire and get them off the map before the Centicors run out of courage to do so. Where is the Luminarch? It's firing straight up while in melee combat. Gets a good giant shot on the Chaos Sorcerer Lord. It looked like it hit him three or four times. And he all of a sudden routes. Good job, Luminarch, as it is going to skid away as it gets pursued by the Sorcerer of Zinch. Balthazar Gelt does not look ready to let the Chaos Lord get out of here. Balance power is about dead even. And Halberdiers take a nasty side volley from the Kratic Abominations. It looks like they lost attack orders that they finished whatever they were attacking. I could see it having demonic disability crumbled or something. Final Transmutation takes out the Chaos Sorcerer Lord of Zinch. And with that, all of a sudden we lose a lot of demonic units. Without leadership, the Zongors are also going to rout in a very sudden turn of events. The Empire is looking... Pretty good. Pretty good with all the stuff that's fading away. The Silver Bullets have managed to hold on all this time. Even while under attack by a little, little blue horrors. The Huntsmen are also under attack. Zongor is not holding up. Do have one healthy one back here. And the Chaos Sorcerer Zinch has to get away for now. The Luminarch is alive. And 
what will it decide to shoot at? Looks like it is going to aim for the Chaos Sorcerer of Zinch, though Gelt is in the way. Now he's not. He's trying to line up the shot. It's charging. He gets behind a deadly tree. He gets out from the deadly tree. There's the shot. And with a hard curve, it hits the sorcerer. Do you see that? It like went meow. It went meow. Chromatic Abominations and Sour Ghosts trying to fight for their lives. The Temple of Luminarch still trying to shoot at the sorcerer of Zinch who retreats to the trees. The deadly, deadly trees. But the Empire is rallying a lot of troops. We still have Zongors chasing off huntsmen who are... I mean, I guess they have nothing better to do right now, but I worry a little bit for those Zongors being out that far. Sour Gut's going to get peeled for by the Centaurs of Zinch. In the background, a very emphatic Empire man said we will kill them all, so I guess I'll believe him. Gelt's kind of wandering. Keeping near to the Sorcerer of Zinch, but not quite. Temploff Luminarch... Trying to line up a shot on some centigors of Zinch right now, but there's a bunch of bumps in the way. It does eventually fire and hits the hillside. Take that hillside. That'll teach you for things. More damage in on the Spearman of Shields, and I guess all of these state troops aren't that much of a problem for Zinch, because you do still have a pink firecaster with a lot of Winds of Magic left. I can guarantee you he has plenty of Winds of Magic left, considering how long this game is going and how little he's had to cast. But if you can kill off the Temple of Luminarch and really give him the freedom to move around, that would be swell. Some blue horrors are trying to chase down the silver bullets. Where are those healthy, healthy Zongors? Ooh, they are currently forgotten. Now they're coming back to the fight. But these blue horrors, 12 leadership, looks like they might fade away any moment. Huntsman taken out by another volley from the Chromatic Abominations. Threw guard mode on, but... Yeah, losing a blue horror from like half HP just due to leadership stuff is, is pretty tragic. They do manage to rally on the charge. In comes the Temple of Luminarch, firing at the Chaos Sorcerer of Zinch, who has abandoned the trees. The Sour Guts are coming up into range. They're shooting at some Huntsmen who are already routing, though. They do have to retarget onto the Temple of Luminarch sometime soon. There go the Blue Horrors for real this time. And the uh, Temple of Luminarch, 1700 value. Spent a lot of his time kiting around. Sour Guts trying to finish off some Halberdiers so they can be free and clear. Chromatic Abominations, unfortunately, just too surrounded. So their leadership dips, and they crumble away. Still have this very, very healthy Zongor that's trying to get back to the fight. Trying is a key word. All right, all right, dude. Temple of Luminarch randomly giving me some very bleak advice. And this Sorcerer of Zinch, he's just getting zoned so hard by the Temple of Luminarch's existence that he hasn't been able to participate. The Empire is relying on the Sour Guts and these Zongors to do some good work. Sour Guts trying to shoot at great swords from behind. And the Luminarch charges up another shot. He's trying to dodge! It does not work. His barriers are gone, takes a little bit of damage on top of it. The full health Zongor is back in the fight at last. The Empire State Troops are not feeling too good. If there was a pink fire that could go through them, they could route them off super, super quickly. But the Chaos Sorcerer of Zinch is just so far away. Temple of Luminarch still has four shots left, and we have some Centaurs of Zinch trying to get involved. Maybe they can chase down the Temple of Luminarch. But man, this Sorcerer of Zinch just not being able to participate is so brutal. He only has 800 value, but he has, he has a ton of Winds of Magic left. I guarantee it. Zongor is thinking about routing at half HP. There they go. And that is a tragedy for Zinch. Their balance of power goes too far down to really matter too much. Centaurs are also going to shatter. Is now the Sour Guts and the Caster versus the world. Times two speed, real fast here. Step off Luminarch wanders around. The Sour Guts get surrounded. They're now going to try and fight their way free. And Sour Guts do have decent melee stats, but they also have this little explosion thing, Sour Discharge, so when they die, they'll be blowing up and hurting these state troops a lot. Balance of power is turning tragically low for Zinch. I don't think it's that bad yet. Like, it's bad, but I don't think it's army loss is bad. The Sour Guts can do a lot, and that was a really nice bolt to change out of the Temple of Luminarch just to get the HP down. But, like, look at all these routes. Come on, now. Gelt might not have that much Winds of Magic. I could see him having another Overcast and Final Trans, but that would be it. So, like, he might not actually be that big of a deal for the balance of power. Like, the true balance of power. But the game balance of power might, like, just off him for no reason. 
A bunch of state troops are routing. Zongor has rallied and is fighting some spearmen to the death. And there is a final transmutation onto the Sour Guts. Realizing that there's such a problem, they just need to be dealt with as all these state troops are about to rout. And can the Sour Guts carry without the Zinch caster getting involved, like, at all at this point? Temple off Luminarch, lining up the shot. Big shot down the clump! Knocks him down. The Sour Guts are going to demonic instability crumble away now. Their exploding bodies might take the Empire State troops with them. Some of them are shattering, but that means the Zinch Caster eventually has to come out of the woods and do something as the Empire of Luminar tries to light up a shot on him, but it is just some Zongors and the Caster now. Sour Guts being dead is brutal, and that was a huge shot from the Temple of Luminar. Zongors are marching forward. Spearmen don't look like they'll be coming back. And this guy, like, this guy's just playing a little too safe. I get it. I get it. You don't want to be sniped, but, like, you have to do something eventually. You can't just live your life in fear of getting sniped. There's going to be a net on the Zongors. The Temple of Luminarch's trying to line up a shot of some kind. Gelt might charge these Zongors. They only have four leaderships. Honestly, if he charges them from the back while they're netted, that could just set them off. Temple of Luminarch's trying to take this moment to go down the side. There's the big pink fire we were waiting for. Luminarch down the side gets a decent shot onto the Zongors. Negative one leadership, but it gets up to 13 as they charge. And the Chaos Sorcerer of Zinch is trying to dive in onto this thing while it is on cooldown. Because if he can get melee with it, then he's not afraid of it. It shouldn't have any more nets. No, it doesn't. And then, like, he can cast a pink fire when it's off cooldown down these Spearmen and Halberdiers to get rid of them. So the Chaos Sorcerer is actually trying to carry. Gelt's diving in on him. I don't know if Gelt has any spells left. The Sorcerer plows into some Spearmen. The Spearman of the Empire is strangely not breaking ever, and he uses a pink fire on the halberds that aren't near him? Okay, why didn't you use it on the spears that are right there? They're blocking you. He's trying to push through him, but his mass isn't quite enough, and the Luminarch's getting some serious distance. Oh, pink fire would have broken the Spearman. He is stuck, stuck, stuck. He's trying to get out. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's taking rear charges from Gelt over and over again. The Temple of Luminarch is getting a ton of distance. Probably going to turn around and just gat his ass. He's still stuck on Spears. Now comes the Pink Fire to bail him out. Immediately routes both those guys. Even shatters one of them. But was it too late? There's a Bolt of Change going for the Luminarch too. It's turning around. It's trying to get a shot onto him. He's trying to juke, but that's not going to work. You just have to run at it. I'm sorry to say, dude. You just have to run at it. Big damage onto the Temple of Luminarch. But it hits him. Army losses pops. And that is GG. Ah, shit. Chaos Lord got zero value. He got sniped up by the Luminarch. Caster did fine-ish. I, I think he was a little too, too cautious in the late game where he was needed most. Sour Guts did amazing until Temple of Luminarch got a side shot down him while they were at a blob. Blue Horrors tried to carry this matchup. Zongors also did okay. For Calamity, Gelp tried. He was offering what he could. Temple of Luminarch, 2,200 value. Then the Halberdiers, Great Swords, and State Troops in general were just a constant nuisance for Zinch. Huntsman did better than the Silver Bullets. GG. Subscribe, yes, yes.